All right, we're at Best Buy. I kind of want to look at some zoom lens, but I'm not going to buy anything. I'll get that soon. I ended up managing to not buy anything. I was tempted to. I think he thinks he's camouflaged or something. I don't know. So in Best Buy, I was looking at the mirrorless cameras, uh, the A7S Mark II, uh, to be exact, by Sony. Uh, it is a beautiful camera. It's expensive, and it's a really great camera, and people have been asking me why I don't convert to mirrorless, or I do have a mirrorless, but the higher grade models, and I guess I'll give a couple reasons why I haven't. Uh, one, I've invested so much money into Canon with the lenses and whatnot already, but primarily because the LCD doesn't have a 180 degree tilt. Now, for me, that is crucial because I do all the filming myself, and especially when I'm vlogging, you won't be able to see yourself uh, when you're vlogging. You'll have to pretty much guess. And for me, if I go back to the editing software and like I'm cut off or something like that, uh, my heart will be broken. It'll just be a really frustrating thing for me. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the ADD at the moment. Now, if I was doing filming for other people or if I was getting paid to uh, uh, do videography for other people, I would most definitely uh, upgrade to the uh, mirrorless cameras, the A7S Mark II. I really would. I love the camera. It shoots great in low light. Uh, the video quality is it's superb. Uh, it's just a really great camera overall. And the A7S II doesn't overheat like the lower grade models. The A7R actually overheats from what I read, from the research that I've actually read. So that's not the only thing I was looking at at Best Buy. I was looking at some lenses and my next lens that I'm going to pick up. Uh, I was going to pick it up today, but I need to I need to chill out on buying all the stuff. Uh, I'm going to wait till next month to pick it up. But it's going to be an L series Canon lens, the 16 to uh, 35 millimeter lens. Now I played with it. I put it on my camera. It is a beautiful lens. The glass is it's you won't get any better glass than the L series. It's expensive. It's about $1,500 for the lens. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to wait until next payday or next month to actually pick it up. <laughs> back up button. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna kill somebody. All right, now back up. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Keep going. Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, you're good. Now you can take it over. Usually these uh, shopping adventures take, I don't know, anywhere from two to three hours, but we're done. Uh, Chapoodle it is. Oh, you went order rice last time, huh? Oh yeah, you guys didn't leave me anything. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. I'll be right back. Right, normally what uh, me and the granny do, uh, if we go to Pueblo Tropical, I end up walking to a Chipotle and getting a bowl. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Thank you. All right, we have the goods. Okay, it's time to, oh my gosh, it's time to train. Okay, so I stopped at a park to talk about a topic that's pretty popular in my comment section, and that's editing style and who influences me. And so I'm not gonna make this part too long. I kinda wanna do this in like under two minutes, so I'm gonna try to make this pretty quick. Before I talk about who influences my videos, I wanna say that right now in my YouTube 
hobby. I'm in the middle of trying to develop my own style of editing or videoing or just filming in general. And how I do that is I watch my favorite films, my favorite movies, my favorite YouTubers. That's how you kind of start developing your own style. And one, that doesn't happen overnight. You just don't pick up a camera and start filming and you have automatically great content. It just does not work like that. It takes a long time to kind of find your own style of it. And how you do that is you watch your favorite people. And you don't even realize it when you watch other people's content, you don't realize how it makes an impact on your own videos. Now, that being said, I'm gonna say who influences my videos and my favorite YouTubers, not just favorites, but who influences my style in editing in general. So one, obviously you guys are gonna know, uh, I'm gonna say Casey Neistat. Now, one, I like his videos because, I mean, he shoots his outdoor videos in high shutter speeds and it gives the video like a, kind of like glitchy, fast paced, sharp videos. And I, I, and I like that. It's not something that I do too often in my videos. Um, I prefer really like kind of movie style videoing. I shoot my videos in 24 frames per second at 1 50th shutter speed. And that gives the videoing a cinematic look. I really love that style and it gives uh, some of the montages a movie feel look. So another YouTuber that influences my style and I really love his content is Ben Brown. Now comparing Ben Brown's videos to Casey Neistat videos is like night and day. Uh, ben Brown's has a more chill, uh, relaxed, feel to his videos also he shoots a lot of slow motion and a lot of really cool montages so i really enjoy his content and has a big influence on my uh, videos so one last person that has a pretty big influence on me and that's devin graham now there are other people that i'm influenced by but i'm just gonna list these three because they're my top picks so devin graham he's a filmmaker and i literally just love his content uh the films he make i don't think i've ever seen one that i haven't absolutely loved um very unique and he does stuff that you'll never see from other, anybody else and if you watch his videos that's what he sets out to do with his videos he sets out to make his videos something that you wouldn't see from anybody else and he does a really awesome job with that so the process of editing style does not happen overnight what happens is you watch your favorite people and you kind of mimic ideas that you like and you do that for some time and over time you start to develop your own style now this might take a while before I actually have something where you watch a video and you say that's Nathan Figueroa that's gonna take some time but I'm in the process of trying to do that okay so I hope you guys understood that I've been here for quite some time it took me a couple shots but I need to go train right now Saturday, I have a corn on the cob contest. I mentioned this in my Q&A video. This is going to be my first time trying to eat corn on the cob fast. Now, I, I Googled this or YouTube this to see um, how you even eat this fast. And there's this one video, this kid literally, I think, eats a whole cob in like, like 10 seconds or less. I don't know, it's crazy. I'll, I'll show you guys the video. I don't know how I'm gonna do at this. I'm gonna try to mimic uh, how the kid ate it. He kind of just went uh, 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 like that and pretty much ate it that way. But uh, yeah, let's try this out. I'm trying to get comfortable with this. I don't know which way would be easier. I don't know if I cook this all the way. <gasps> you know what? Nah. Okay, that doesn't work. I'll try that again. Okay, this is harder than I thought. Okay, this was a total fail. I gotta find another technique. Okay, let's try a different way. Okay, 
Okay, this is not working. Oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe if I like bend it. Ten seconds under is what I'm aiming for. <sighs> okay, so I think that went well. Anyways, tomorrow I think I'm going to do another practice run. Uh, Saturday is the contest. Tomorrow is Friday. So hopefully, you know, I don't come in last, you know. I don't, honestly, it doesn't really matter if I come in last. I just want to experience a major league eating contest since I haven't really, or since I haven't ever uh, actually competed in it. Regardless, placing, I think it'll be fun. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Always, I uh, really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.